Have you ever tried playing certain games with an expert of the game? How does it feel like? I bet you'll feel dumb at some point, especially if you once considered yourself a good player. So, here's the thing about playing such games. There's always a secret or rules that these experts know. Because you're not aware of those rules, no matter how much you try, they'll always beat you, as long as they stick to the rule of the game. You see, the game of life also works in the same way. When you know the rules that apply to the game, you will win. It's pretty simple. Israel Moore Aivo, an inspirational writer and speaker, said, Every game has rules. Life's a game that has its respective rules. Obey the rules. Win the game. So we all want to win in whatever field we choose in life, yet only a few wins. Why? It's simple. Winning is a habit and a lifestyle. It isn't something that happens because of luck. No. You have to learn to go for what you want. And that's what the rules to winning the game of life are about. In this video, I'll share with you 7 rules to win the game of life. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on exciting videos like this. Number 1. Set clear goals. Dennis Waitley, an American motivational speaker and writer, said, The reason most people never reach their goals is that they don't define them, learn about them, or ever seriously consider them as believable or achievable. Winners can tell you where they are going, what they plan to do along the way, and who will be sharing the adventure with them. To become or achieve anything in life, you must have goals because they help improve your mental focus. It's like this. When you set goals, you work with more urgency and purpose. Also, you are able to set priorities because of a sense of direction that comes with goal setting. As a result of this, your mental focus is improved and driven by this. Also, setting goals, explicit clear goals, helps you to commit to them because you know the exact thing that you want and you have created actionable plans to help you get to these goals. Imagine running a race but you don't know where the finish line is. Would you win? Well, I doubt that anyone can win a race like that. In the same way, you can't win anything when you don't set clear goals. I mean, how can anyone win a thing when there was never a thing to be won in the first place? Number 2. Be eager to learn every day. Setting clear goals is only the beginning. Next, you have to be willing and ready to improve and develop yourself if you want to meet up to the standard of the person in your dreams. So, take a look at what you are now and take a look at where you want to be. I'm pretty sure the reason why there's a gap between you two is that there are certain qualities the one in your dream has but are missing in you right now. To get it, you must have to be willing to learn and grow. Learning and growing aren't one of the easiest tasks to do but necessary if you plan to win the game of life. Muhammad Ali, an American professional boxer, once said, I hate every minute of training, but I said, don't quit, suffer now and live the rest of your life as a champion. When it comes to winning, having more knowledge is power. So try to learn something new every day, read a book if you have to, meet new people or do something different. You can also learn from people who are ahead of your field. Number 3. Don't be afraid to make mistakes or fail. Michael Jordan, an American former professional basketball player said, I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to take the game winning shot and missed. I've failed over and over and over again in my life and that's why I succeed. To win, you have to fail, okay? That sounds a little harsh. You see, failure is a teacher that teaches you that strategies aren't meant for winning so that you can go ahead to try others. As you repeatedly try new things to overcome your problems, you are bound to make mistakes. When you do, you learn better and become better experienced in handling similar situations. Number 4. Learn to take calculated risks. Don't be scared to take risks, especially if they are well calculated because with risks come new opportunities for growth and success. No doubt, it's one of the toughest things to do because no one wants to step into a tunnel when they can't see the end. That's where taking calculated risks 
comes to play. Number five, be willing to work harder than others. Those who make progress in life ensure that they keep learning, growing, and working on getting better every day. It's like this. Successful people are never willing to be on a level of average. They always want to give in their best to know how much they can accomplish if they push themselves harder than the rest of the world. As a result, they achieve their goals. Emmett Schmidt said, For me, winning isn't something that happens suddenly on the field when the whistle blows and the crowd roar. Winning is something that builds physically and mentally every day that you train and every night that you dream. Winning is more than your daily practice and training. It's ensuring that you do something every day that makes you feel like a better person today. It means that you must be willing to work beyond everyone else. That's the way to success. Number 6. Expose yourself to new ideas, people, and places. When we experience new things, we learn something unique. We step outside the boundaries of our comfort zone and we grow and develop ourselves. The effect of doing this, however, is that we open ourselves up for new perspectives and opportunities to help us for further growth and development. Number 7. Be consistent. Consistency means choosing to move on and to keep playing the game even when it looks like it's about to be over. How can you become the best at something if you practiced it only once? Of course, that isn't possible. You must have practiced over and over again. That's what it takes to be consistent. You need to keep practicing all the rules over and over again if your goal is to become a master of the game so that you can keep winning, not once, twice, three times, but as often as you play that game. You see, to win the game of life, you must be willing to put the work required to do so. You can start by following these rules listed. Good luck, friend. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you.